Brandon Blackwood, because I said backwood. Hey, it's Janae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey. In today's video, we're gonna do a pack with me, style with me. As you can see, I have my rack of clothes right here. I'm doing a staycation this weekend with one of my girlfriends and we got some cute stuff planned. Brunch, dinner, lunch, girls day out, girls night out, all that good stuff. So um, I just wanted to show you guys how I pre-plant my outfits because even though I will be in town, I won't be at home. So I still gotta pack get myself together all that stuff and i put a couple looks together from the things that i've already had in my closet and i just want to show you guys how i'm gonna be styling these pieces this weekend so let's get into it <laughs> okay y'all so we have five looks total and i always start by writing everything down because i'm just that kind of person so i write down every day um then i go day and night for each day in the activity so that i know what i'm like wearing because i want to put my outfits together because i just want to make sure i have everything i need and this also does keep me from overpacking because i try everything on first make sure that it looks good make sure i have all the accessories i need for each look and then i just go from there so yeah so for the first look um it's for dinner so tonight we are just doing a little girls night out cute little dinner I am doing this like stone colored turtleneck that I got from H&M and I'm gonna pair it with this blazer that I absolutely adore. This is from the Tracy Ellis Ross collab that she did with JCPenney a few years ago. It's something that I just wanna keep in my wardrobe forever. It actually is too big for me, but it's okay because I typically wear it just on my shoulders. I don't ever actually put it completely on unless I absolutely have to. But y'all for the bottoms, um, I'm just doing these leather leggings that I got from Zara. These are also a staple in my wardrobe that I've had for a few years. And they just have this like really cute like pinched seam all the way down from like the waist to the ankle. And they are high waist, so they're super cute. And I'm not gonna take any of the items completely off the hanger only because I am gonna put some of this stuff inside of a garment bag. So I just wanna make sure I keep it on the hanger. It's already hung up. I do have to steam this shirt. As you can see, it's kind of wrinkled but we're gonna get to that but as far as like shoes and bag hold on let me show you i wanted to keep this look really chic and simple so i'm just doing these gold heels i got from asos along with this um saint laurent uptown clutch i felt like this would be a really cute you know dinner night look really 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 cute this clutch just holds barely anything like i can put my card case in here my phone it's a lip gloss so <laughs> yeah but this is look number one for tonight and then for tomorrow, which is Saturday, we are doing some daytime stuff, some super cute activities, going to Candytopia, shopping, pedicures, all that. So I wanna be really comfortable and really chic and really cute. So I'm doing this sweatsuit that I got from a black owned boutique here called Modern Episode. It's their Valencia sweatsuit in the color Kale. I love this shade of green so much. I love this sweatsuit because the hoodie is actually cropped which is perfect for my no torso having self. And the sweatpants are just really, really cute and like scrunched. For the bag, I'm gonna do my Marc Jacobs camera bag. Love this bag. I wanted something, I wanted to wear something that I could be like hands-free with. So I felt like this was the perfect um, bag to pair with this. And of course I'm wearing sneakers. <laughs> when I went to the Instagram for this boutique, I noticed that she's always styling this sweatpants with sneakers and one of the ones that she always styles with is a pair of dunks so i'm going to wear my bordeaux dunks with this i think that ain't the name of these i'll put the real name on the screen but um they're like bordeaux burgundy bordeaux and i felt like the brown and bordeaux are two different colors completely but they still contrast enough to where this is a really cute look like i can't wait to wear this it fits really really good and yeah it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute okay <laughs> For Saturday night, we're going to dinner again because the girls gotta eat, okay? The girls gotta eat. So I have this look. It is also from a black owned boutique, Shop Girl Next Door. Anything um, that I can, I will absolutely link it in the description box to let you guys know. Um, it's a two piece, like off white set. It's not cream and it's not white, so it's somewhere in between. But long sleeve two piece, again with the leggings. I actually had to have these tailored to fit me in the waist but they have that really cute like pinched seam from the waist down to the ankle like those Zara leggings. Um, cute two piece set. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe so when I saw this I was like yeah I gotta get it. And it has like a thumb hole which I absolutely love. 
Um, it's gonna be cold, so I am gonna wear this on top of it. <clears throat> Already tried it on and it is super, super cute. If I don't wear that, I do have like a longer um, tan trench coat that I may pair on top, but it just depends on what kind of mood I am. I'm in, um, and then I'm gonna do the Zara bag. I'm not gonna wear the chain, I'm just gonna wear the top handle portion of the bag because the chain is it's like a silvery color just throws it off because y'all know I'm a gold girl for sure and then for shoes even though it's cold outside I'm gonna keep it simple and just wear these new mules I've had these mules for so long they were probably like $11 but they are perfect um, I got them from Windsor a few years ago but they're the perfect nude shoes they go with like everything tried it on with this look after trying a few other shoes I decided that these were the ones these were the safest way to go so here we are. <laughs> then on Sunday, we're going to brunch, of course, and we just want to be real cute, but also comfortable and also warm. So I'm doing this look right here. I have had this top or this sweater set for since 2020. It is now 2022, and this will be my first time wearing it. Sad, okay? Um, but yeah, also got this from a black owned boutique, but they're no longer in business, unfortunately. They were my favorite. It's called Her Distraction. Um, it's one of those like, turtleneck situations that doesn't have like a full sweater it's just the sleeves and the turtleneck um and it came with this really cute like tank top to match and then i'm wearing these wide leg jeans from zara they have like some distressing in them showed you guys these jeans before because i'm obsessed with these jeans but what i'm most excited about this outfit y'all are the shoes i'm wearing the boots let me show them to you because they are my favorite boots okay favorite boots i own only going to show you one because I honestly don't feel like pulling both out. Um, but this is the boot. I love these boots so much. These are from Shuts, Shoots, Scuts. I never know how to pronounce the name of the company, but I love these boots. I bought these on Black Friday a few years ago. This is their Marianne boot and it is extremely popular. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. The cream one and the snake print one are the ones that you see most often. Um, a lot of the girls wear those shoes, those boots, but I love these. And since these are wide leg jeans, I'm just going to put the jeans on top of the boots. Um, instead of tucking them in, because why would I do that? Why would I do that? <laughs> and then I'm just going to wear my um, LV toiletry clutch with this. It'll be a really cute look. But yeah, this is for brunch for Sunday. And then the last outfit, my most... Well, I, I was gonna say my most comfortable outfit, but I think the sweatsuit is probably the most comfortable one. Like, I want this in more colors. It's so soft, y'all. Um, but this is my Sunday daytime look. So we're gonna change clothes after brunch because we're gonna explore the city and do some shopping and stuff. Um, I'm just doing these gray sweats, and these are like a pair of my favorite sweats. These are from Naked Wardrobe, the collection that they did with Lori Harvey last year or the year before. No, it was last year. Um, white crop top and this shacket from Modern Opulence, black on boutique. Real quick, let me make this clear because I know this can be confusing because I was confused. Two of these boutiques that I mentioned are black on and their names are very similar. Modern Opulence, which is where this shacket and this coat right here are from. And then there's Modern Episode, which is where this sweatsuit is from. <laughs> so um, two completely different names. I just want to make that clear. Both will be linked in the description box, but just in case anybody else was confused because I, I was confused at first, but I was like, oh, it's two different places. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna wear this little Brandon Black, back, Blackwood, wow, wow. Brandon Blackwood, because I said Blackwood. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna wear this little Brandon Blackwood mini Portmore bag with this. Um, anytime I wear blue, which is really not often, but I do like the way that this bag looks with like dark wash jeans and like grays and stuff. So definitely gonna wear this together. I think it's gonna be such a cute little look. And then for shoes, I'm definitely wearing sneakers. So the sneakers I'm gonna wear with this are the Alma Marnier 3s. Super, super cute. I tried it on last night and it was absolutely a look. So yeah, y'all, these are all of my looks for this weekend. Um, I will definitely make take like pictures or a video of each look when I have it on to like put on the side as I'm talking about it. But I basically just like build my outfits by starting with like where I'm going and what look I wanna go for. And 
then I'd be like, okay, well, if I want to be comfortable, I know that I can only wear like this. And then I start going through what I have and I just go from there. Like for instance, this look right here, super, super simple sweatsuit, but I knew that I was going to be like running around all day. So I was like, well, I just want to wear something comfortable. Then I pick my base layers, <laughs> which is just like the top and the bottom. And I just build from there because I keep my, um, I think I keep my outfits pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I think my style fits me very well and I try to explore with colors. I do like neutrals, but I don't want to stick to one color palette because I don't want to like limit myself to what I can't wear. You know what I mean? So now we're going to pack everything. Some of this stuff, well these are, these outfits right here are getting folded. Everything else is getting put into a garment bag. I do have to steam this turtleneck. So I'm going to do that real quick before. But yeah, y'all, I got like an hour or two before I meet up with Stephanie, so I need to like get my stuff together and go. <laughs> okay, y'all, please ignore the fact that my closet is a hot mess. Um, okay, it's a mess. But I'm about to steam the turtleneck real quick, so I'm just taking all the other items off the hanger. And my mama got me this steamer. I don't know where she got it from. I think she got it from Walmart, but it's by Conair and it works really, really well. Um, never giving it up, okay? I've had it for a while. Never had any problems with it. It steams all fabrics well. Um, like all of them, even like denim, like even the toughest of fabrics. I will be sure to link it in the description box because I am a firm believer in steamers. Um, as I told y'all, I picked that up from... Um, working at me I would bark it's just being like very aware of like the wrinkles and like clothing especially with certain fabrics they just don't lay the right way when they're not properly like ironed or steamed so I try to keep my steamer on deck I need to get another travel size one I have one but I don't have it anymore um so that looks a whole lot better those wrinkles on And I, if I was 100% certain about how I'm going to wear this top, I haven't decided if I'm going to tuck it in or not. I wouldn't care about the wrinkles if I was tucking it in, but because I may wear it out, I'm just going to steam it because you can never be sure. Here are those leggings, by the way, because I know over there I didn't quite show them to y'all fully, but this is what they look like. So stinking cute. <laughs> Love them.
Hey y'all, so hold up. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm pretty much done packing. The last thing I have to pack is my makeup. I know this seems like a lot of stuff, but it's truly because all of my outfits just have a lot of elements and then it's cold so we have like coats and like thick stuff so i'm about to just go through my list and make sure so far that i do have everything come here mama make sure i do have you know everything hey georgia mama um georgia will be here but i am gonna be coming in and out um because she's gonna hang out with us on sunday so let me just to be okay so yeah the last thing i have to pack um is just my makeup so i'm gonna do that now and that's actually gonna go in this bag right here i'm gonna take these like these are like all my extra beauty blenders and stuff i'm gonna take that out of here and um yeah this will actually just go in here like that this bag does drawstring clothes i actually just had it repaired because I lost the uh, the string on the other side but you see how I can like tighten it up so yeah the last thing I gotta pack is my makeup and I will be done packing um then I'll put on something warmer so I can head out but yeah y'all I just want to pop in and tell y'all thank y'all for watching this um I think this is a really good way for me to start getting into like uh style videos and stuff like that because y'all I love love shopping and like putting outfits together for myself um really cute chill stuff so yeah let me go ahead and finish up hey mama y'all i've been so mad at georgia this week but i still just cannot deny how much i love this freaking dog love us so much Ooh. oh you know what else i do have to also pack my jewelry so that will go in here too so yeah let me go ahead girl back up <laughs> Funny how that you call and that you bring in my life Oh, the hell is you bring in my life Oh, I Tell me what's changed It's in my status It's in my pain It's in my pockets It's in my change It's in my body It's in my body And then I'll show no fun with your mind on okay so there's actually like three things that won't fit inside of my bag for some reason um so i'm gonna just have to pack them individually it's my primer my setting spray and i want to take this powder too um but i just remembered i was supposed to unbox this in my last vlog so forgive me but um i ordered some stuff from dark skin makeup daily um they're a black owned of course beauty brand on Oh my god it's so cute i ordered like a new beauty blender um a case for it as well as like a little like hand makeup palette so i want to show can you back up i want to show that to you guys really quick and it's so freaking cute i'm so excited because i always put my foundation on the back of my hand to use it and so I ordered this you like sit it on your hand like this and you can put like all your products right on top of it so that you don't have to like dip directly into you know put it right on your hand and then you just like clean this off sanitize it and everything so I definitely want to take this with me as well as um oh it's soft it's like silicone I thought it was hard for some reason So this is the case like this so so cute Georgia of course she hear that crinkly sound and she thinks that Georgia be careful mama um this is the beauty blender I want to take a picture of this in the case like this so before I take it out I'm gonna take a picture so not yet but yeah it just fits in here and it's like perfect for travel purposes so I completely forgot to show this to y'all but I've been wanting this for a while and I've been putting it off, but I finally got it. So really, really excited. I'm taking this with me for sure. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here is um, my makeup. So it just went into that same bag. Um, I'm going to get like another little small bag. Let me see if I have one in here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to use my flexi rods are in here, but 
Or should I use this one? No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use this big one. This uh dust bag. I'm gonna just put like anything extra, like residual in it. Like I have some like baby wipes, some like feminine sanitary products that I want to like just bring with me. You know, just in case. I'll just like throw all of that in here. So yeah, go ahead and toss this in here, and this will fit into that bag too. I'm so happy about this. I'm I'm gonna put it back up though. Put it all the way back up because <laughs> I don't want to break it but I will link it in the description box this is so freaking cute like I remember when I seen it and I was just like I don't need that but y'all know I'm the queen of buying things I don't necessarily need but they're useful so yeah um kind of like those like no drip cups that I bought from LA Beautyologist like they're so freaking cute and look at the packaging y'all know I love pink cannot go wrong with pink but yeah I'm pretty much done packing mm. pretty much done packing I'm really excited about this weekend um I'm just ready to have fun I haven't had a girls weekend in a while like since my best friends like um spent my birthday with me so this is gonna be lit this is gonna be lit we got so many things planned dinner brunch shopping all of that all of that so yeah, y'all. We're testing right now. This is so good you touch you with your love. But if I had you, I don't wanna do it. You know, take it down. All I wanna do is go. Okay, y'all, so I'm all done packing. Everything is all good and ready to go. The only other thing I packed was this bag right here. And it just has, like, my laptop in it, um, my camera. Well, my camera stuff will go in here once because we're on it now. Um, my wallet and, like, this little, whoop, this little, like, clutch I kind of keep. Certain things in. My chargers are in there. Phone is in there. All that good stuff. So, yeah. That's it. So I packed all my stuff. We styled my outfits. Um, now it's time to go have fun. So I'm really looking forward to everything this weekend. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check the links in the description box for anything that I can. I absolutely will link it. Um, some of the stuff is from Amazon. So it'll be in my Amazon store. But I will be sure to still list it and let you know like where to go. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Love y'all.